In today's video, we're pitting the last three years of Mega Tens against each other. What's up guys, we're back with another Mega 10 opening. In this one, we have 2020, 2021, and 2022 Mega 10s that will be facing off in an epic versus battle. So the reason I'm doing this is because I need three Pot of Prosperity for a deck that I'm building. I've been building a lot of decks. Uh, yeah, I'm getting into it, I'm getting into the uh, the deck building grind, which is definitely a grind. And I'm missing, I don't have any Pot of Prosperity at all because I usually sell them because they're so expensive. It's just, I can't justify keeping them if I'm not gonna use them, which I'm probably not gonna use them anyway, but I am gonna put them in a deck. So that led me to think about all of these different 10s that we've had the last few years because pot of prosperity is in 2022 tens i have a few 2021 tens laying around and then i even have a couple 2020 tens laying around as well so we're gonna have a lot of different ones to open this is actually 2022 the first one we showed was 2020 yeah backwards but that's okay but basically i have two of each 10 and there's gonna be a versus battle with totals on the screen six total packs of each this is right after they stopped using promos which everybody misses a lot because in the 2019 tens we had like nibiru and all those crazy prismatic secret rare promos that everybody loved but konami maybe you want to bring them back i don't know Just throwing it out there but these are the ones that we've had since they took them away. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'm giving away something epic. It's a double misprint, Gaia the Dragon Champion. This is a reverse secret. It's also gold letter Gaia. It's pretty rare to find one of these in double misprint. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know which of these tens is gonna win the battle and which one's your favorite. I'm starting right in the middle with the 2021 Mega 10 because I think this is the least exciting of these three. 2020 is really cool because it has the one and only Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, whatever he's called. Why can't I open this? It's too stretchy. The number one card in here right now is the Divine Arsenal Zeus Prismatic Secret Rare. There's also a, you know, Triple Tactics Talents as an Ultra Rare, which is a great card. So a lot of good cards we can pull here. Let's just get started. All right, our first pack of the tins that we're gonna be opening today. I'm excited about this because Mega Tins I don't usually revisit because there's not like a high rarity chase or anything, but there's some really nice like meta staple cards that are like in Prismatic Secret, which I absolutely love. I think it's one of the best looking rarities. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let's see if we can pull something good here. So I think you get what? Two Ultras, two Supers and a Prismatic Secret. There's a Super Rare. If you're a Transverser, I lost a horrible loss in Auction Series and also on Twitch the other day. Go check it out, twitch.tv slash Ruxin34. If you want to see me play Master Duel, I lost to that. Ooh, a Dogmatica Ashian. So that's not what we're looking for. I mean, that's not a great card. Not even Dogmatica really uses that. Didn't even mention this card. This is the card of the set. Back when these first dropped, this is like $100 on pre-release. This was the craziest card. It then got a Prismatic Secret in the next 10, so that kind of ruined it. But this is still a really strong card and very usable. I have a hilarious short on Ruxin Live about someone who used that against me in Master Duel. Uh, Gear Suit, very nice Ultra Rare. And then, uh, yeah, we've got uh, Union Driver. So then you get a bunch of, of commons, I should say, and then a rare. So nothing too crazy there. I guess this guy's actually not bad right there. Crossout is still, even after the reprint, the third best card in the set. So that's a great start for the 2021 tens. If they pull off the W here, it'd be really funny because I was truck trucking trash. I'm not saying that backwards. <laughs> Dog and trash. There we go. Okay, we got the uh, obsessive Uva Loop. Very cool. Can we get something good? Let's see if I can actually pull these cards. Feed ran the wind of the mischief. That's also nice. The shiny black sea squatter. He's a squatter. Okay. We have a infernoble arms Durandal. Didn't we just pull that? I think we pulled that a second ago. No, that was a the hot clad. Hot clad. Okay. Next up, stir secret rare. Come on, Lord of Striking Thunder. So uh, yeah, it's a great, awesome sacred beast. Not a great card in terms of value here. We have the Adamant Spirit Researcher, and we have a Virtual World Ziffy GG. All right, so we've got a couple of Ultras there. Nothing too insane. We've got some Lee. Oh, the Lifeless Leaf Fish. Very, very weird. Okay, what do we have from the back here? Let's see what kind of pack trick. We need to do six from the back. Let's try that next time. Final pack for the first 2021 Mega 10. They have, well, they'll have one more 10 after this, but we're going to mix them up. So let's try the pack trick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if we messed it up. We did not. We've got the... I, a Idol Reborn, we have the Puffinese, the Tactical Trapper, Joyous Melvies, the Jack O'Bolan, Lingerbell, AI Love Fusion, the Fury of Karishin, the AI Q, Cyberverse Accelerator, we have the Rika Queen Strana, the Buzzsaw Shark, a good in Duel Links for a while, Jabbing Panda, wait, wow, there's a lot of comments here, with the Infra Noble Arms Durandal, we definitely just saw that, that's the same one. We have the Warning Point, I think this, didn't this used to be a Secret Rare in some set? I feel like it did, I don't know. Next up, Secret Rare, here we go. 
Another Hamon. Okay, that's kind of rough. Girsu and a Research. This is literally like some of the same cards we've already pulled. Hamon, not that great in terms of actually, you know, value or anything, but it's a cool looking card. Next up, 2021 tin. I always do these upside down because the way I look at them, the way, I don't know, I flip them the wrong way every time. But 2020, we see the total of the 2021 so far. I feel like they're doing pretty well though, even with like that weird prismatic, you know, dupe that we got there. We got the third best card in the set, so we can't really complain about that. Let's see what else we can pull from 2020. Can we get that Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? There's also a lot of other cards like IP Mask, Arena is a Prismatic uh, Secret Rare, the Draco Berserker, the Tinny is a $17 card at the moment. Uh, Avermax just got a reprint in Super Rare and Maze of Memories, so probably not uh, you know worth as much as they're saying right here. Borlo Savage Dragon, nice Prismatic Secret, also Pot of Extravagance, Opelosa is an Ultra Rare. A lot of good stuff. Like This is a really good set. It's aging pretty well for like uh, cards that are still being used in the meta and they're still expensive. All right, 2020. I forgot how like yellowy these look. I haven't seen these in a long time, obviously, because we opened them in 2020 and haven't really opened them since. I mean, I, technically we opened them uh, in the every pack opening that we did for the second time. If you haven't seen that, someone go watch it. Guard Dragon Promenesis. Let's see what we can pull. Jelly Can. I don't know the pack trick on this one specifically. I don't know if it would still be six. Gladiator Beast Comeback. They need to make a comeback because they're not very good. The uh, Gladiator Beast, the Connector, the Astral Ghouls. Look at those guys. Oh, that's so cute and also creepy at the same time. All right, super rare. We have a Pendulum Halt. Okay, is it the next the Secret Rare? Witchcrafter Adele. Okay, we got a Witchcrafter card. Okay, the, the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon could be in this slot because it's ultra rare. The Mount Smasher and the Witch's Strike. Okay, an ultra rare there. So one, okay, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the Medulce is at it again. So six. Okay, so six from the back is what it is. Two packs left of 2020 Mega 10. What will we pull? Pegasus Wind. The Draw Hand, Salamangred Fennec, Catabolopas, the Salamangred Violet, Hop Ear Squadron, the Trickstar Fusion, the Dimmer to Glimmer, the Marin says Wonderheart, Dino Wrestler of Aelanex, Salamangred Sunlight Wolf, so Salamangrades are added again, Fury on Fire, a Evil Eye Mesmerism, that's a super rare, then we have a Bead Raptor, also a super rare, Prismatic Secret, let's get some good. <laughs> A Mystic Mine! All right, so we have a Mystic Mine. It is now banned, so uh, all you guys who are having flashbacks right now, don't worry, it is still banned. Let's see if Dark Dragoon is next. Okay, the Omni Dragon Brotar. Okay, that's an Ultra Rare, and... Ooh, Opelosa, Bow of the Goddess, Megaton 2020 print. That is a nice one. I mean, Opelosa, still an amazing card printed in 2019. Still pretty awesome. All right, third pack of 2020. I think we're doing okay so far. I mean, that Opelosa is definitely solid. It's one of the best cards. About seven something. It's close to the cross out value. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we should be pretty close to the 2021 10 right now. Time Thief Bezel Ship. Let's see what we can get. Guard Dragon, Core Walling, Witchcraft of Draping. Whoa. Dino Resker, Escramenechi. All right. The Dino Wrestler, Tarot, Pancorio. Okay. These are crazy. Evil Eye, the Dino Wrestler, the Basilisk, uh, the Dino Wrestler, the Connector, Marinces Current, Dark Factory, more production. The Xerziel, Ruler of the Evil Eye. Okay, Evil Eye stuff. All right, not crazy. Time Thief Winder, and what will we get in our Prismatic Secret Rare slot? Here we go. Witchcrafter Hayane. Yeah, this is one that was a really expensive super before the reprint, and this didn't really help. So we've got the Omni Dragon Brotar again, and out trigger extension i was hoping we'd just get another opelosa that would have been pretty nice but not right there so that was an okay 2020 10 here's the values right now let's move on to 2022 here we go this is the one that i'm really opening this for to be honest i really want to get the pot of prosperity but i remember it being pretty hard to pull out of here we did not pull a lot of them i only pulled like four and i opened several cases so yeah it's probably not gonna happen but if we do pull one i'm gonna be very happy i'll be ecstatic i'll be excited all those different words that are synonyms for excited okay let's go three packs 2022 to, uh, not a huge task right now to uh, come back from, but the other, the other tens did fine. Let's see, what we can we get out of here besides the Prosperity? Dark Dragoon, obviously the same card, but it's a Prismatic Secret. I don't know why they reprint them in different rarities. It's really weird. Uh, we got Dark Magician Girl, of course, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, Lightning Storm, stuff like that. So a lot of good stuff. Let's see what we can get. Arm Dragon Thunder, Ultra Bee Trooper, the Gun Kitsu Ship, you and I, Judge of the Ice Barrier. We have a Paleozoic Hembro Roaster, and we have a... CS Arm Sage, and we have a Dark Onyx. Wait, they do the Ultra Rares first now. I forgot. That was smart because keep the secret for the end. Dark Onyx, very cool. Synchro Overtake, also a nice Ultra. And 
Underworld Goddess of the Cursed World. This is not a bad card either. A nice print of it. Prismatic Secret Rare. Okay, that's not terrible. We'll take that. Gunk and Sue Ship. Despian Tragedy for those Despian decks. And uh, Night Swarm Serpent. Not bad at all. Second pack of 2022. Will we get that Pot of Prosperity? Not a bad card that we just pulled, but we'll take that. I didn't count. I think it was... Let's try six again. Three, five, six. I feel like that's right. We have a Magic Key Well, it definitely didn't give us the foils, which is good. Festival, Majestic. We got the Will's Dragon, the Brandon High Spirits, Despian Comedy, Basil Rose Shoot, Dragon of the Knight. We got the Zexal and Trust, the Aero Picks 3, Eat of the Sun Magician, Garden Rose Flow. Whoa, why does that look double stamped? Is it just me? They look really, really thick on the stamp. Okay. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Nice super rare for the, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? The, uh, the the branded deck. I couldn't remember. Okay, super rare. We have the Denmari at Ignister. Nice super. A, oh, a Dimensional Shifter. That's a card right there. Apex Predation. I don't know a lot about this card. And finally, will it be the pot? Wow, we did it perfectly. Okay. Yes, it will be the pot of prosperity. Oh, my goodness. This is like a $58 card right now. Whoa. Okay, so basically, I did the perfect pack trick. So six. So the last card was a secret rare. And then it was the best card in the set. I just need to pull two more. Can we make that happen out of these next four packs I have? Easy. Easy, right? All right. Was not expecting to pull it that easily. I mean, the second pack, we already pulled it. But I'm okay. One, two, three four, five, six. I will take that. If we just pull it in this pack as well, I'd be okay with it. Let's see. Stay Sailor. We have the uh, Gidgardra, the Cradle, the Sting Lancer, the Magic E Duo, the Freeze Bell, Diplo Man, Thunder Level 3, Vanisher, Red Carp, the Supernatural Danger Zone, Ultimate Flagship, Ursa Tron. We have White Knight of Dogmatica, Live Twin, Key Skill Frost. Not a bad super rare there. Then we have a Earth Chant. All right. A DD Assault Carrier. And finally, another pot. Will it be it? Ooh, Drytron Mubeta Fafnir. Not a bad prismatic secret as well. So that turned out to be a pretty crazy 10. Here are the totals. I think 2022 is probably winning now. All right, back to 2021. Uh, we are halfway point. Uh, we've been taking our time a little bit on these. So now we're going to go a little bit faster because we do have half the video to go. I don't want you guys to be here all day, even though I know some of you guys do like those longer videos. But let's see if we can get to these packs and pull something amazing. Because last time we got Cross Out, which is pretty amazing. But really, we need something big time to come back from that pot of prosperity. All right, 2021. 21 10 of ancient battles wow that was a great pull i'm pretty hyped about that one two three four five six let's do this we have a puffinese the infernoble knight the dogmatica encounter light knight adding mister the junk slate wow there's a rux special actually a super rux special red time one or eight Bellcat Fighter, we got the Speed Road Block and Roll, Kotok Inverted, Goku the Power Load Ochre, the Arc Rebellion XC's Dragon, Deep Sea Area, and the Dogmatic Punishment. That's a good pull. I don't think it's a crazy value card, but it's a great card. It looks really, really good, so it's a nice Prismatic Secret. And then we go, ooh, a Chaos Ruler of the Dramatic, la, 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 that, that guy. That, the long name guy, I always mix up his name, but yeah, he's banned, I think. Two packs to go. Four, five, six. That was a pretty good pack, actually. Pretty good pack, but it is not good enough at the moment to take the lead. So we have a Rookie for Hire, Blizzard. Man, now, look, when I speed it up, Rux and Specials just go crazy. So a Super Rux and Special twice in one pack. Ignister, the Melfi Playhouse, the Torpedo Takedown, Penguin Brave, Arc Jet Lightcraft, the Infernal Knight Durandal. That's a Super Rare, and Emancipator Secret. Next is the Prismatic Secret. Win the Wind Charmer. Okay, not a, not a crazy one, but it's a... Uh, it's, Seeker rare, okay, and then a couple ultras. Yeah, not a good 10 so far. This has been pretty rough. But don't you worry. We have one more pack, 2021. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? One, two, three, five, six. We need it to be epic and awesome at the same time to have a chance. Lifeless Leaf Fish. The Ad Ignister, the Ginny, the Resonator, AI Shadow, Jack in the Hand, just a weird name. Goki Iron Claw, the AI Ritual, Melfi Mommy, Charge into the Dark World. Melvi Hind Seek, we have an Awaken of the Possessed Rasen Ryu, Shiny Black Sea Squatter, we have a Dry Tron Delta Altaeus, and uh, Virtual World Mahime Lulu, actually a pretty good one. I mean, Lulu is a pretty strong card for that deck. We got Area of the Water Charmer, and then a Piercing the Darkness. This has a Starlight Rare, right? Okay, very interesting. And then the Brigand of the Glory Dragon. So here's the final tally for 2021. If I'm not mistaken, they're officially not going to win. All right, we're going to switch it up and go 2022 first so that 2020 has a chance to make a comeback on the last opening because right now they have a big lead with that Pot of Prosperity. 
We'll open this up, see if they can get extend the lead before we get into the final opening. All right, here are our three mega packs of 2022. They have been pretty good so far. Let's see if they can continue it with another pot. One, two, three, four, five. We don't want to mess this up because that would put the secret right to the front if we get one off. Bumpkin Beast, what a guy. Thunderbolt, Hillbringer Hog. We got the Majestic Absorption, the uh, Magic E Duo. Night Sword Serpent, Master's Diplo Man. Basil Rose Shoot, Meow's Click, Ice Jade Acti, the Red Carp. Sacred Tree Beast Hyperton. Whoa, Rux is special coming in. Floundries and Eaglin. Oh, the Floundries. We have a Live Twin Key Skill Frost. That's two of those. Not bad. Goki Finishing Move. Super rare. Floundries and Token. So more Floundries going at it again. And a Mimicking Man Eater Bug Ultra. Very cool card. And. Ooh, Incredible Ecclesia. Also a pretty good one for those Sword Soul decks. So not a bad card. Pretty solid pack overall. Two packs to go. Can we get uh, another pod? Can we get something else epic? You know, there's a Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in here. There's been drop. There's a lot of really cool stuff. We have a Gunkin Su ship. The White Baking, a classic artwork. Beat Trooper Fly. We got the uh, Ritual card signed out. We got Brandon High Spirits. Another nice card. Ad Libitum. Gunkin Su ship. Ultra Beat Trooper, very nice Beat Trooper Squad. Fable Treason, we have a Supernatural Danger Zone, a Flunderies, and the Unexpected Winds, or the Unexplored Winds, I should say. Machina Ruin Force, that's a great card for your Machina decks. I actually need this card for my Machina deck, which I haven't played in a while, but it's a cool card. Live Twin Lead the Treat, so more Live Twins. And a Rebuild Deer, he's going to rebuild with the Deer. A Contract with the Abyss, and... Uh, Wonders in the Magnificent Map. I saw the spell card and I was like, did we get another one? This is also a great card for the flu stuff, but it's flu, so, you know, not great. All right, final pack of the 2022 Mega Tens. Let's see how they finish it up. Will they pull another pot? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have Brave Drive, Bouge Incandescence, Brandon and White, B Trooper, Soul Roller, the Gunkin Sue Ship Daily. We have the B Trooper. We have the Despian Comedy, Zoroa, Link Apple, a legend amongst our channel, I guess you could say. I was amongst our people, I was going to say. Okay. Flip Frozen. We have the Magic Key Unlocking. Ooh, Ruxin Special. Pass the Magic Key Fiend. Denmari at Ignister. We have a White Knight of Dogmatica. A The True Sun God Ultra Rare. A Breaking Ruin God. A lot of God cards. And. Dramaturge of Despia. So another nice prismatic secret. Not crazy value. So that gives the 2020 10s a chance to come back. Here are the total values before we enter the final round. Let's see if the 2020 10 can make a comeback at the very last second. That'd be pretty amazing. All right, our final three packs of the opening. Let me know if you've enjoyed this kind of video with three different kinds of tins. You know, going back and visiting the uh, the Mega Tins, which we don't do very often. I've had fun doing it. Let's see if we can pull something crazy here like the original Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Here we go, Solomon Great Burning Shell. We have a Ruxin Special. Draping, Blast Iron Core, the Reincarnation, Time Thief Hack, Blazius. We have the uh, Marshall Ampello, okay, Morch Slag. Gar Dragon Shield, the Dino Wrestler Valanx, the Sunlight Wolf, the Pendulum Halt. We have a Witchcrafter Scroll. It should be next with the Secret Rare. Unchained Abomination. Another nice card for Unchained. There you go, Distant Coder. Okay, we've got a Cezel Watcher of the Evil Eye. And a Win the Wind Charmer Verdant. That's yeah, Starlight Rare. It's available. All right, not a great first pack. We're going to need something better than that to make a comeback for 2020 at this point. I don't even know. I mean, they are they even in second at this point? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not really sure. Here we go. We have the Tyrant Farm. Xyz Sly Dolphin. The Heat of the Fire Charmer. Dino Wrestler. Long Name. The Terra. The Evil Eye. Gar Dragon. We have the World Dragon. Legacy Gar Dragon. The Mapupa. We have the Furrier of Fire. The Neospatian Connector. Marin says Current. So many commons. Unchained Soul of Anguish. Super rare. We have a Nightmare Incarnation Edle. I didn't know this was a super. That's actually pretty nice. We have that. Sky Striker Ace Kiana. It seems like the name's got something going on with it as well. Prismatic Secret. Here's what the Jagoon could be. Successor Soul and uh, Evil Eye Awakening. Okay, not awesome. And then a Link Mail Archfiend. So yeah, a little iffy on that one as well. All right, our final pack of the opening. We're going to need a crazy pack. We need it like an IP Prismatic Secret and a dark, Red Eye Dark Dragoon in the same pack. Could bring them back, maybe. Whew, here we go. Gladiator Beast United. Gladiator something. We have the Guard Dragon, the Speed Burst Dragon, Solomon Gate Transcendence, Fusion of Fire, Sub Terror Succession, the Trick Star Fusion, Infinitrack Drag Shovel, the Marincess Sea Angel, Infinitrack Tunneler, Guard Dragon Andrake, the Evil Eye Retribution. That's a super rare. Marincess Seahorse, formerly a Starlight Rare. Here we go. What do we have? 
I thought it was the Oppo. That would have been crazy. Or sorry, the IP. Shaman of the Tin Heat. Not a bad card, but not what we were looking for. And uh, Destin Rivals. Still pull that Dragoon. Come on. Oh, Witchcrafter, Pator. All right, so just a white howling at the end. So it looks like revisit everything we've seen. I think 2022 won, but that was an amazing pull. Whole reason I did this was for the Pot of Prosperity, so it was nice to pull one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Recycle, James Jantz, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.